let's just uh, recap quickly. What I did was to pick up this plugin a couple of weeks ago, and I've been testing it out for a couple of weeks to make sure it was similar to what I had in mind. And it is. It's uh, absolutely perfect. What's always put me off from running seminars in the past is the cost more than anything else and complexity of using something like GoToWebinar um, or similar online services. But Google Hangouts affords me the freedom to produce these and it doesn't cost anything at all. Uh, the only costs that have been involved so far are uh, obviously the existing video and audio equipment that I have, uh, which I, I used to use for producing all the recorded videos. And the cost of the, the plugin itself, which is really quite reasonable, it's a one off cost. There are no monthly fees involved. And this plugin uses the power of Google Hangouts and also YouTube and posts the completed seminar to YouTube automatically. No other work is needed to, to do this. And it's it's really excellent, excellent. So what I'm going to do is hopefully share the screen now with a brief introduction from the author of the plugin, or creator of the plugin. And to do that, I just have to do a quick changeover to the screen share. And we'll get back to you when it's finished. Hi, and welcome to the Hangout plugin. Let's have an overview. So we'll do this in two parts. The first part being creating a Hangout, a registration page, um, which is essentially a squeeze or sign-up page, somewhere where you can register people to attend the Hangout. You can capture their names and email addresses. And then, of course, running a presentation. We'll look at the chat, the availability of replays, uh, and more. And let's now have a look at how quick and easy it is to use the Hangout plugin. OK, so we're in the WordPress dashboard. And quite simply, all we're going to do is add a Hangout. Let's give it a title. So I'm going to say uh, Overview Presentation. Choose a date. Now, this will automatically pick up the time zone that you're in from your IP address uh, and drop that time zone in here. So you're literally setting the time at your time. So let's say, for example, I want it today at 5 p.m. It's 11, uh, 10 past 11 a.m. at the moment, so we'll be able to see that in just a second. You can also choose now, but I'm going to choose this particular time. You can choose any date on the calendar. So I'm going to click Done. Now, do we want to take registrations? Let's say yes. We can integrate with autoresponder systems, Aweber, and get response. And do we want to send notifications? Do we want to remind people when the webinar is coming? I'm going to say yes, send a reminder 24 hours before, and send a one-hour reminder. You can change those in the email settings and create your own uh, reminder emails. Now, I want to choose a timer design. We've got three different countdown timers. I'm going to choose this one just to see the effect. We've got two different styles of registration page designer. We've either got a headline designer where you've got a, a WYSIWYG opportunity or a full page graphic. So we'll have to look at both quickly. Uh, on the full page graphic, what I'll do is I'll choose the banner and let's go for something money related. Okay. And do I want the counter at the top of the page or the bottom of the page? I'm going to choose the top and let's now go and have a look at the registration page. That's how quick it is to set up. 
Great, so I've now got uh, the overview presentation. Let's view this one. And this is the effect of the full page graph. You can see that in the back. We can see our countdown there and the registration form. When somebody fills in their name and email, they could literally drop into the system and start getting their reminder emails, etc. So this is our Hangout plugin registration page. Let's just quickly look at the other design style. So I'll just go and edit this one. Okay, so we'll keep all the same details with the count, uh, counter, but instead of the full page graphic, I'll go for the headline designer. We can put in here a logo, so let me do that quickly. And I'll also enable the social sharing. We'll show that in a second. Um, now, you can also just type your text that will turn it into a logo style by using some of the fonts. Um, and now let's put in a headline. So I can say, awesome headline. Let's drop in here a, a nice font. Colours, for example. You can choose any of the colours here, so I might just choose the, the maroon for now. Put in a subline text. It is great. And again, we can choose our fonts, etc. For the sub headline. So let me just show. Now, what we need to do here is literally just copy and paste our short codes. So I'm going to drop in here the timer. Center that. As well as the registration code. There we go. And of course, I can expand that. And I'll just put in here. Uh, this is our registration. Page. Of course, you've got all the standard uh, media and uh, WYSIWYG designers there. Let's update this. And so now what we've just shown is the two different styles of registration page designer, the full graphic and the and the headline designer. So now this was our headline. Uh, this was our graphic. If I just refresh this page now. We can see the logo that I put in, the social sharing buttons are here, the awesome headline, uh, and of course the countdown timer with the registration form and whatever we type. So you can create your own registration pages and, and capture those names and email addresses in seconds. Okay, so now we get to the second part of our presentation where we're running this Hangout and how easy it is. So when it comes time to making our Hangout live, we've got the global button here and all we need to do is click on Make It Live. It will drop in our title and we literally just click to start the Hangout. It will open up Google. I'm just going to minimize that. So it's literally opened it and I've closed it straight away. Drop in here the YouTube Hangout details. And then click on Make It Live. As I do that, I'm going to give it a title. So we'll have a uh, Give it the same title. This will then be the title of your Hangout on Air. You can see my image down the bottom there. And we'll click on Start Hangout on Air. And in this case, I've chosen to do a screen share, whereas, of course, I can do the, the um, headshots, etc. if I can turn my camera on. I've just chosen to do a screen share there. Uh, I can do all of the standard Google effects. And this now becomes my webinar dashboard, where I can run my webinar from here, I can change screens easily, I can view and chat with incoming people, and this is how easy it is to set up a Hangout using the Hangout plugin. What the people now see on your site, so this was the page that we had as the registration. If I just refresh this now, and what your customers will see is exactly the Hangout. They've got the chat facility here, so they can literally send you a message straight away. You'll have that pop up in your, your chat system. So the whole system is, is built to run on point and click, and running a Hangout really is that easy. The great thing as well is the Hangout instantly records your replay so that the um, initial page you created, the registration page, will then also be the same page that holds the replay, and people can register, they can still put their name and email, and you can then display the replay to them as you go. So the Hangout plugin, easy to do. Set up a Hangout in seconds. Run that Hangout from your uh, from your dashboard with full functionality, all of the uh, abilities of Google and the sharing, etc., saving YouTube videos, all that kind of information, and simple to use inside your WordPress dashboard. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, thanks for watching. And I really appreciate you coming along to this live demonstration of the Hangout plugin. And look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.